20 years this year. Uh, we have two boys, and uh, we have he's our oldest is a freshman, and our youngest is a sixth grader at Tipton um, School District. We run a cow calf operation, mostly Red Angus, and have corn and soybeans and hay. We're pretty much 50-50 with my folks. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be 72 this spring, but maybe you won't retire, so. <laughs> um, but. I grew up on a dairy farm just north of here, so um, so that's my my background. So I, I always said I wasn't gonna marry a farmer, but I, <laughs> I uh, changed my tune, I guess. Red Angus Cross, and, and we calve primarily in uh, March through May. We, we don't have the facilities to go any earlier, really, keep them warm, but um, we calve out in the corn stalks. Um, we're mostly no till. My dad and grandpa started no till in 83. Uh, we, we'll do some tillage where we feed the cows hay in the winter because we try to keep them off the pasture until at least May 5th so that they have a chance to have grass in August. Waterways because if we make it wide enough, we can round bail it. I've been on the Cedar County NRCS board since uh, uh, George W. Bush was first elected, and Amy's done everything else. <laughs> I've uh, um, been on the Farm Bureau, the County Farm Bureau board, for uh, probably 10 years now. Um, currently, the vice president of the county. Um, I also serve as a 4-H uh, youth committee member and kind of help oversee some of the youth programs in the county. Uh, last fall I started a 4-H club of my own, a uh, service project club. So that's something to get our youth kind of giving back to our communities. Uh, so that's been a fun experience and just kind of getting that off the ground and, and hoping that uh, that is goes on to big, bigger and better things. and I didn't want to ever do anything else growing up, you know, typical farm kid. I, um, I inherited some ground when my grandpa passed away, and so I was able to be more than just a hired man for dad. We got married and moved here. I worked in town for 17 years, and then it, four years ago this month, um, I came home to work on the farm. His parents gave us an opportunity to you know, rent a little more ground from them, and uh, so I came became more of an integral part of the operation. And it's been nice to, to be home and more flexible for the kids, and and I'm usually the gopher girl. I guess for, for me, um, and I can probably speak for up, that it's, it's pretty humbling because we don't feel like we do anything different than anybody else. Um, so, you know, to get the award and say, and it's hard to take praise, so to, to say that, you know, we're doing things right, it's, it's nice to have that recognition. And I think it, it takes good people to make a good community. So, and whether that's your town community or your farm community, I think that's, that's important to us. Yeah. So, I guess getting that recognition is, is nice, but like I said, we don't do anything different, at least we don't think we do, than, than anybody else.